welcome to the Independence Public Library and Maker Monday. My name is Bonnie, and today we have the opportunity to create a CD fish. You will need a kit that you can pick up from the library. Inside there, there's a CD, already uh, construction paper with a pattern already on it, a regular piece of colored paper, some magnets, and a wiggle eye. From home, you will need tape, a pair of scissors, a marker of some kind, and glue stick. Stop the video when you've gathered your supplies. Go ahead and start it again. The first thing we need to do is prepare our disc. For that, you'll need your marker, We want to make markings on there that look like fish scales. So I'm just putting little partial circles, marks, lines. You'll want to continue doing that all the way across your CD. Stop the recording, and then when you're finished with that, go ahead and start the recording again. When you've completed your markings, it could look something similar to this. They'll all look different, depends on how big you want to make your scales, bigger or smaller, but it should look something similar to this. Next, you'll want to find your construction paper that has your pattern on it for fish parts. It should look like this. You want to cut your parts out very carefully with scissors. When you've finished cutting them out, go ahead and start the recording again. When you've finished cutting out your parts, you should have a tail, a top fin, a bottom one, a circle, and a set of lips. Next, in your kit there should be a square piece of just colored paper. To prepare this, we need to fold it in kind of a fan shape. You can fold it a couple of different ways. For me, I folded it from corner to corner. And then just a little fold back and forth to get it kind of a fan shape. that to the other half also. So it should 
should look something like this. Okay, now that we have all of our parts ready, we're ready to assemble our fish. I want to place my disc and my fish parts. I want to assemble them on there where I think they look the best. Save your circle part for, for a little bit later. Okay, I think that doesn't look too bad. So carefully grab your glue stick and glue each part on. That's where we're at so far. Okay. Your folded piece of paper carefully thread that through the middle part of the fish. You can thread that in as far as you want. Or You need to kind of play with that to get it adjusted the way you like it. Okay. On the back, take a piece of tape and tape that down when you have it adjusted. up on the side of the fin there, but that's okay. We want it actually to cover up the middle of the disc. Okay, the last thing we need to put on our fish the last part is one of the is his eye. Okay. Sure, you get plenty of glue on that. Stick it on where you think it'll look the best. want. There's a couple of magnets with your kit. You can put some glue on those and stick that on the back. You'll want to make sure and put the glue on the printed side of the magnets.
or CD fish. If you want to make scales on his tail, make his lips a little prettier, you can add your own decorations to that. That would be wonderful. You've done a good job. Thank you for joining us. A few of the books we have at the library about fish are Swim, Swim by Lurch, Mr. Seahorse by Eric Carl, Fish by Liam Francis Walsh. And Rain Fish by Lois Eilert. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you next time.